नमस्कार कम 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 टुडे आई वुड लाइक टू टेक अ लिटिल मोर ऑफ थियरी ऑफ अभिनय द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ म्यूजिकल फॉर्म्स एज एज यू आर लर्निंग भरतनाट्यम यू वुड नो दैट इट इज ऑल बेस्ड ऑन कर्नाटिक म्यूजिक एंड कर्नाटिक म्यूजिक has gone through lot of evolution to become carnatic music as we have it today there is uh, of course the saptaswaras are mentioned in the nati shastra but the kind of geetis which are mentioned there are we we don't know what were the structure at that time at least uh, the dance movements called karanas got codified in the temple so there could be some reference but there was no vocal reference that we could derive from the living tradition so obviously it has been evolving and particularly in indian art it has been evolving through the centuries and that is why it never became stagnant it went on to evolve and live through the centuries so we have a living tradition where we are able to still connect with our source of vedic knowledge we know that all our art forms we know the nati shastra itself was created from the vedas you know the origin of uh, the nati shastra you know the natyotpati you have done it already you remember how uh, brahma went uh, you can can you just say you remember see how uh, when people had strayed away from the righteous path then indra approached brahma and brahma meditated on his four vedas and kaling patya from rigveda um, gana from samaveda uh, abhinaya from yajurveda and rasa from atharva veda so you can imagine how much importance was given to rasa itself and every time we emote we are working towards that concept of rasa rasotpati comes by a self experience which you transform into the experience that others can feel you want the spectators to feel what you experience that is called rasotpati the, the concept that bhava is experienced by the performer and rasa by the spectator is not totally true because a person who experiences the rasa will naturally be able to communicate that rasa so the performer also goes through the rasotpati the rasa experience gets into the mood so the rasa itself has been given a total importance in the four uh, aspects that brahma culled from the vedas so uh, all the rest put together is what creates rasa and rasa is a concept that is uh, unique for the indian aestheticians it's something that the great indian minds have given to the study of aesthetics so even the javali that you went through when you began you were a little uh, hesitant to show the expression but when you got into the mood when he says bharata says you must do patra pravesha you get into the patra then you start feeling those emotions so you by the time you warmed up and you start understanding the lyrics you got into that character and you could start living through every emotion that the character was feeling so the several vyabhichari bhavas also could be brought out in such a way that it strengthened the rati bhav so this is the concept of the ashtanayika that you were bringing out now evolution of music as we were talking has also been in such graded uh, states that at one point of time probably uh, you know music was such that 
uh, several stanzas followed the same structural pattern, so they were sung similarly. In fact, the Javali that we took, the Anupallavi and the Charanas follow the same structure, but it is not so in all the Javalis. Some of them are slightly different, like for instance the Padas, the Padams that we have are quite different. The Pallavi is in one, uh, normally the Pallavi will start a little low, Anupallavi will start on the higher uh, note and then the Charanas come in a different Dhatu. So, now how did all this come into existence? For a long time till um, uh, even the Divya Prabandhas, then even Arunagiri Nathar, he also seemed to follow the same kind of pattern where all the stanzas followed the same structure. So, they were sung in the similar manner. Only Arunagiri Nathar exploited a lot more on Thalas. He worked on the Varnas. So, we got the Chanda Talas, he worked on the metrical patterns. So, there was a slight you know a evolution in that uh, direction, but it was during the period of Purandara Dasa that a different concept of music came into existence. In fact, um, from uh, you know uh, what is recorded in the Sangeeta Ratnakara under Prabhandas, we find that uh, one uh, you know there was a pattern where the first stanza follows that is the Pallavi and then the rest of them follow another Dhatu. So, when there is uh, already there are two different types, all of them are not following the same structure. So, this gave rise to the concept of Kirtanas. Then the concept of having three parts. Pallavi, Anupallavi and Charanas became more popular during the period of uh, Annamacharya and uh, you know Chinnaya that is that entire Talapakam uh, family. They brought in more of this three part structure which came to stay especially in dance field. So, all of these coexisted in the same time period in the same region? Uh, no, they did come one after the other and so you can see the evolution and then we come to the period of Purandara Dasa. When in the period of Purandara Dasa, we can see that there is a total uh, almost like a renaissance because uh, it, you know arts were slightly low because of all the foreign invasion and then suddenly there is a resurgence of music. I mean, whether it is a myth or not, people say that Purandara Dasa was actually uh, an incarnation of an Amsha of Narada, uh, who came to uh, give a different pedagogy to uh, Carnatic music. And this happened in the region of Karnataka, and so it came to be called as Karnataka Sangeeta. And Purandara Dasa revived the concept of Gita and mm, small structures, small Dasa uh, Nama uh, which had a Pallavi, Anupallavi and several Charanas. So, so it existed in the past and it had gone, he revived it? He revived it because the um, Annamacharya and his Talapaka uh, Acharyas were the ones who created this concept and he furthered it and then it was taken much further by the Trinity. Purandara Dasa kind of created a forerunner for the Trinity to come into and to the Trinity to give us the uh, essence of Carnatic music which we all enjoy listening to as music or in the form of dance. And towards the 18th century we started getting lighter versions. See, from those Kritis came the concept of Padams. So, most of the Padams were all having a higher level of thought, where it was always, even if it was a Nayaka Bhava, it was trying to reach to the Uttama Nayaka, the uh, Parabrahman. And then came the lighter Javalis. 
as I told you earlier. So, the pattern of arrival at Javali in the 18th and the 19th century sees the strengthening of vernacular literature in the form of music, Telugu and um, Dasar Namas in Kannada. Uh, so many songs came in the regional languages, regional theatres. We have a few Javalis in Tamil and I believe there are a few Kannada Javalis, but uh, not many have come to light. I am sure a little more research could go into it and more uh, of it can come into the field for the help of the dancers. So, and Akka, uh, the Javalis always had only the female heroine or was there any Javali on the male also? They were. There, there is a Javali um, on the very, very uh, popular Javali um, where um, 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 where the male for a moment, where, where the male says, oh, uh, uh, do not get upset with me because I have I somehow give me, you know, uh, some record. This is the male coming to the female. But it's they a, But they were rare. They were very rare, very rare. Uh, were there any Javalis where uh, the male was the hero, or based on the male? Yeah, yeah, they were. They were Javalis, based on the male as the hero, addressing the woman and trying to beseech her. But they were very rare. In fact, uh, the strength of the female, uh, you know, portraying these emotions were always considered stronger and more appealing. So, the Javalis were performed more by the female artists, popularized a lot by Kuchipudi artists and of course, Bharatanatyam has always been open to all musical forms. As I told you earlier, we have taken Varnam, Padam, Kirtanams, Kritis, Tilana, Javalis, all these are sung in a Carnatic music concert and are also performed in a Bharatanatyam concert. The Javalis uh, came into being along with the uh, Bhakti period? No, no. That is a very relevant question because the Bhakti movement was what was uh, it, it kind of swept the entire country. And at that period, we saw the Dasar Namas, the Varkari sons of Maharashtra, um, the Bhakti movement in Gujarat, the Krishna movement in Gujarat, uh, Mirabai and all these came in at that time and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Bilva Mangalam in Kerala and all the Ayurvars. Um, uh, this was, uh, you know, it was like a Bhakti movement that swept the entire country. And Bhakti had risen to such a level that now there was also need to go to normal. Sringara, to the normal human beings, not all the time only desiring to reach the Lord. There are so many, a variety of psychological situations that uh, human beings go through and so that was the Javalis came as an answer to this and several padams too. Now, the difference between a padam and a javali is that padam is much heavier for rendition as well as for performance in its pattern also. The pallavi line is longer, the anupallavi is longer and the charanas may be many more with many more lines also. Whereas, the javalis had lesser words within that structure and were generally rendered at a faster tempo than the Padams. The Padams could be very slow. Uh, in the course of the Padams, particularly the Dhanam family, Dhanama, Balasarsati, uh, they all specialized in Padams and uh, they brought the musical element of the Padam also to reach the audience. So, in fact, even as they, uh, as she enacted, she would sing and 
with her music her face would convey many more emotions so that was the beauty of the padam rendition then javalis were fast paced conveying the naika bhava but in a lighter vein in the common language in a very colloquial language to reach the masses so now that you have learnt this javali in uh, kapi ragam rupaka talam i would like you to sing it once in talam every line you just sing twice in talam just to know that you know how to sing it okay you choose your shruti as you want and i'll help you wherever you need to because as we have concentrated the earlier lessons on emotions sometimes i told you let your emotion build up i'm leaving the talam there because the talam is definitely in required uh, otherwise we don't have a structure in prabandha you have to have swara and tala as the basic structure so that has to be there it has to be controlled within a certain limit but while teaching and learning the emotions you can stretch out only till you learn after that it has to come into the structure so now you uh, sing and show how you are able to structure it into the talam that it is set in okay we'll start with anupallavi M- many padams and javalis are started with the anupallavi though anupallavi means that which follows the pallavi here we use the pallavi uh, anupallavi to strengthen the concept of the pallavi it can only be an interchange between the pallavi and the anupallavi yes yes beyond. you cannot take a charana and then uh, take uh, you know follow the other things anupallavi literally means that which follows the pallavi but there have been singers who have experienced uh, a kind of a charm even in the musicality of the uh, piece by starting with the anupallavi because anupallavis are always on a higher note so instead of starting at a lower note they've started in the anupallavi and come to the pallavi line to and in a way for the performer it enhances it strengthens the emotion of the pallavi so now you try singing चिन्न पोइन मर्म में मिटा मोमो चिन्न पोइन मर्म में मायलाडी पोदन चे मायते सेरा आ परुलन माट नाम वदु कानायक रिपीट परुलन माट नाम वदु प्राणनायक आ परुलन माट नामवतु प्राणनायक आ परुलन माट नामवतु प्राणनायक आ You can't take that. Namavatu pranayaka a parulan mata namavatu. Madayanayavatani ko 
మదయానీకు మందు పేటేరా మదయానీకు మందు బేటరా ముందు తెల్పే ఇప్పుడు మోవి వింత చేసేరా ముందు తెల్పే చేసేరా పరులన్న మాట మవతు ప్రాణనాయక పరులన్న మాట నామవతు ప్రాణనాయక పరులన్న మాట నమవతు ధర్మము నన్నెల కోర నీకు మ్రోకేరా ధర్మము ధర్మము నన్నెల కోర నీకు పరులన్న మాట మవతు ప్రాణనాయక ఆ పరులన్న మాట you just remember that even if you take the cycle of singing somewhere else you come back again to the same taking it after the beat as anagata even if you take the cycle round for your sake of enacting but you should come back to this at least once you must come back to that parulan maata you must come back to that okay all right you are clear with this song okay now try to sing and practice this together when you sing and do the emotions it will definitely add more strength to your emotions okay all right conclude